வணக்கம் ஐம் வயோனி டிமெல் திஸ் இஸ் பாஸ்டன் லங்கா நியூஸ் பிரிங்கிங் யூ நியூஸ் வியூஸ் அண்ட் என்டர்டெயின்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் பாஸ்டன் அண்ட் யூஎஸ்ஏ We want to support and encourage Sri Lanka's trade with the USA, says US Embassy New Deputy Chief of Mission. Sri Lankan education officials shatter the dreams of Sri Lankan students. Ramadan, a time to focus on commitment, reflection and peace, says Sri Lankan Ambassador to US, Jalia Vikram Surya. Special song for veteran actress Malini Fonseca from Boston Lanka Media Network. We want to support healthy democracies. We want to encourage more US foreign direct investment flows to Sri Lanka as well as to encourage Sri Lankan exports to the US. said William Weinstein the new deputy chief of mission of US embassy in Colombo when he met with the secretary to the ministry of industry and commerce in Sri Lanka Anurasiri Wardena in 2011 US became the second largest global trade partner of Sri Lanka followed by India Sri Lanka US bilateral trade value stood at US dollars 2.478 billion in 2011 which was only US dollars 1.962 billion in 2003 We want to get a fresh start and we should look for more ways to strengthen US Sri Lanka bilateral trade emphasized Weinstein Entering into the state university is the highest success that any student can achieve in Sri Lanka and it's a dream of many Sri Lankan students. But today many students are wondering whether they have to give up that dream due to wrong calculation of results of university entrance examination held last year. Thousands of students those who are qualified to enter universities earlier found that their rankings had changed after the new rankings were released as ordered by Supreme Court. The release of the revised Z-score rankings triggered a public outcry in the country and even some political parties and unions demand for the education minister and higher education minister to resign. Since last week, thousands of Sri Lankan students along with their parents are protesting against the Sri Lankan government's education officials as they have messed up the results. I could have gone to the law faculty, but after the new results, it's only a dream. My district ranking has changed from 43 to 260. My relations gave me gifts after I have selected for the law faculty. But now, how I tell them the truth? said Sandhuni Ekanayaka, a girl from Matugama. Our parents taught us facing a lot of difficulties. Officials have shattered our future. We had to admit my mother to the hospital after she heard the second results. We don't have money to go to private universities or foreign countries, said art stream student Harshini Madhushika from Matara. My son sat the exam in the math stream. We are now worried that he may not get selected to the engineering faculty. Since results are out, my child is crying. We ask from government not to play with children's lives, lamented Aryavati, mother of a student. Higher Education Minister Svidhi Sarnayaka last week at a media briefing said that the government will ensure the students who were inconvenienced by the Zs Co will be granted justice. According to the minister the report detailing the implementation of the Zisco results has handed over to the president The embassy of Sri Lanka held the annual iftar breaking of fast ceremony Thursday last week followed by dinner continuing the tradition of venerating all four major religions practiced in Sri Lanka uh, Ramadan is a time to focus on commitment reflection and peace All of us Muslims and non-Muslims value the importance of improving ourselves and working towards a better future. As Sri Lankans, we can see tangible evidence of peace and progress in our motherland. 
Ramadan is a time to focus on commitment, reflection and peace. All of us Muslims and non-Muslims value the importance of improving ourselves and working toward a better future, said Ambassador Jalia Vikramasurya, welcoming the guests gathered for the event. Dr. Abdullah Kuj, Director Islamic Center of Washington DC, delivering the keynote address reminded the deep affection he has developed for Sri Lanka having interacted with the embassy for many years. Even though I have not visited Sri Lanka, but somehow I fall in love with the way people deal with each other as human beings, regardless of the sect, regardless of the status, regardless of all of these worldly matters. I see from what I know from the people here that they are really human beings. And I'm grateful to God for all of this. Ramadan in Arabic, it means the months that we burn our sins. Now, Ramadan as a month of burning sins, we fast from dawn to sunset, as all of you are aware. It's not only the physical fasting, abstaining from food and drink, rather all kind of behavior that may cause trouble in the relationship between the human being and God and trouble between the relationship of a human being with the other human being and with all the other creatures. So a fasting person in reality is a person who is peace, who is uh, merciful, who is kind, all of these issues. Why? Because when you fast, you remember the gifts of God, of Allah, we say, on you. The breaking of fast was followed by reciting the Holy Quran and Dr. Abdullah led a congregational prayer before the traditional iftar dinner. <laughs> Among the large and representative gathering who participated at the auspicious occasion of the IFTA ceremony were Ambassador Islam A. Siddiqui of the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative, Deputy Assistant Secretaries of State Dr. Elisa Ayers, James Moore and Mrs. Valerie Fowler, members of the Sri Lankan American Muslim community, Sri Lankan community leaders of the Greater Washington area and embassy officials. A special song produced by Boston Lanka Media in tribute to award-winning renowned film actress Marley Fonseca was released at a special event held in Colombo on Friday, July 27, 2012. The song DVD was officially presented to Marley Fonseca by Janak Ambalangodage, who wrote the lyrics of this song at this special event held at the Hilton Hotel in Colombo. This song DVD titled Malini Pranama is sung by Arjuna Balasurya and Vanoji Balasurya. The music by Arjuna Balasurya. This song was created especially for Marlene Fonseca when she visited the United States few years ago and attended an event organized by the Sri Lankan community in Boston in honor of her contribution to the Sinhala cinema. With this song, Boston Lanka launched its music label. Kul mat karna, 
visiting www.bostonlanka.com That concludes our news edition. We meet you again with another news edition of news, views and entertainment from Boston and USA. Till then, goodbye.